Hi guys, and welcome to another Memory Corner, where I take a look at the games I played when I first started reviewing. Today we'll be looking at My Brother Rabbit. Released in 2018, it is an unusual game from Artifacts Monday, where they have broken the traditional mould of their hidden object and puzzle tried and tested formula, and opted for something a little different. It's not a million miles away from their usual offerings, hidden object scenes and puzzles are still present, but there is a noticeable change in artwork and direction, with more of an interactive approach. The story is not told in the usual manner accustomed to Artifacts Monday games. Instead they have elected to depict the story using hand-drawn art in a storyboard fashion. There is no speech and the images are open to interpretation. The whole game is based around a child's imagination and this is mirrored in the gameplay and the way the game looks and feels. A child falls ill and the family rally around her side. Her brother who is of similar age helps her recovery by embarking into their imaginations. In their world, a sick plant is aided by a cute and cuddly rabbit who must complete tasks and puzzles to help the plant reach the end of her journey. You can interact with almost anything, much like a child would. Pressing a duck makes a quack noise, pulling levers and pressing buttons all do things. In fact, the gameplay mainly consists of pressing everything you can on the screen to see what it does. Quite often objects you are trying to find will be hidden behind things or inside cupboards, so you will need to open the cupboard door or move items out of the way. Instead of having hidden object cutscenes where you get a list of objects to find, my brother rabbit has opted to hide these objects throughout the level. A level mainly consists of four or five different screens, and within each screen will be some sort of puzzle. When you interact with certain objects on the screen, a task is produced that you must complete. These tasks are mostly finding hidden objects like five butterflies or ten pieces of pipe. Some of these objects will be hidden or you will need to complete mini puzzles to obtain them. You can have a few tasks running concurrently, but you'll find that only one task can be fully completed at a time as some of these items may not be available to collect just yet. Once you have collected these items, you will be able to start the puzzle they are related to. The puzzles are similar to those in most hidden object games, and they will feel familiar if you have played this genre before. Completing the puzzle usually provides you with a never hidden object piece, or will open a new screen for you to interact with. Even though the puzzles are designed around a child's perspective, they are definitely not child's play. Some of the puzzles are quite difficult to complete. The puzzles were of a challenging nature and very rewarding to finish. A lot of the puzzles I have not seen before and were great fun to play. The gameplay was often amusing, cute and playful. I would say it would be perfect visually for a child to play, but the puzzles were quite difficult in places and there are no difficulty levels to change in the game. Maybe with an adult supervision this would be a nice game to play with your children, but generally I would recommend this to teenagers or older. The sound was fitting for such a game, everything you press makes some sort of noise, usually exaggerated for comical effect or wonder. There is a beautifully musical score played as the cutscenes unfold, which is quite emotional. The graphics are colourful, cute and imaginative, and successfully relay the imagination of a child. The story unfolds using hand-drawn artwork and is effective at portraying the emotional storyline. This is definitely a new approach for Artifacts Monday, and although similar to their previous attempts, it adds a refreshing twist on the genre. The game was enjoyable and a fair challenge to complete. The story concludes after 5 or 6 hours, but it feels longer and it's easy to get immersed within the strange and wonderful ride the children conjure up for you. Okay, that's all for my special section on Memory Lane games. My next review will be for My Memory of Us, a bittersweet tale of war and survival all in the eyes of children. Narrated by the one and only Patrick Stewart. If you're interested in that, please click the notification bell. And if you enjoyed this video, I would really appreciate a like and subscribe. Thanks, and see you soon.